NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the formation of Y-bus matrix from the power system networks. In the Y-bus matrix, there are various types of problems. The first type is the power system structure is given. We have to find the Y-bus matrix from the power system structure. This is the first type. The second type is Y-bus matrix is given. We have to find the power system structure parameter from the Y-bus matrix. The third type is we have to find the sparsity of Y-bus matrix. What is sparsity? How to find the sparsity of Y-bus matrix problems? These are the types of problems. For the competitive examinations, the, all these problems are very, very important. So we should know all the problems. In the formation of Y-bus matrix, there are three methods. The first one is direct inspection method. The second one is node analysis method. That is singular transmission method. The direct inspection method and node analysis method both are same method. But in the direct, direct inspection method, directly the formulas are used to find the Y-bus matrix. But some problems, we cannot use the direct formulas. For this case, we have to use the node analysis method. If the mutual impedance between the two transmission lines is given in the power system network, we cannot use the direct inspection method and node analysis method. So, if the mutual impedance between the two transmission lines in the power system is given, we have to use the singular transmission method. In this video, we are going to discuss about the formation of Y-bus matrix from the power system structure by using direct inspection method and node analysis method. The remaining concepts will be discussed in the next videos. So, before the discussion of these concepts, first you should know the basics. The impedance, we, we know the impedance. Impedance is equal to resistance plus reactance. That is impedance. If resistance is zero, impedance is equal to reactance. What is Y? Y means admittance. Admittance is the inverse of impedance. So, what is acceptance? Susceptance B is equal to inverse of reactance. This is the basic terms. The y bus matrix is used to load flow studies. But the z bus matrix is used to find the fault current analysis. So the direct inspection method. The formulas, direct formula for the calculation of y bus matrix is if three bus is given. If the power system has three bus, the y bus matrix will be 3 plus 3. If the power system have four buses, the Y bus matrix will be four plus four. Here Y11 is sum of admittance connected at bus one. This Y bus matrix is symmetric in nature. So Y12 is equal to Y21 is a negative sum of admittance connected between bus one and two. Similarly for Y13 is equal to Y31, negative sum of admittance connected between bus one and three. Y22 means sum of admittance connected at bus 2. Y33 is equal to sum of admittance connected at bus 3. For some type of problem, we cannot use these formulas directly. For that case, we have to go for node analysis method. Okay. For, for example, this question is asked in gate 2011 examinations. Here, impedance is given. The given network have impedance. Impedance is inverse of admittance. So, Y11 is equal to, this is 1 by Z11, small case, small value. So, Z11 is equal to J0.1. So, we will get Y11 is equal to 1 by J0.1 is equal to minus J10. Similarly, for Y12, Y12 is equal to 1 by Z12. So, we will get the values as minus J5. Then, Y1, Y23. Here 2, 3 impedance here between 2 and 3 bus. So y23 is equal to 1 by z23. The value will be j12.5. Here 3, 3. Y33 3, 3 is equal to 1 by z33 because this impedance is connected at 3. Here minus j0.08 connected between 2 and 3. So it is called as z23. Y33 is equal to 1 by z33. The value will be minus j10. Now use the direct inspection formula. Y bus here three bus number of bus is three, so the matrix size will be three plus three. If 
first find the y11 we know this y1 sum of admittance counted bus 1 here this is the bus 1 what all are the impedances are counted at the bus 1 y11 and y123 are connected at bus 1 so capital y11 is equal to small y11 plus y12 because y11 and y12 connected at the bus 1 so the summation will be y11 capital y11 is equal to minus j15 second y12 capital y12 is equal to y21 is equal to negative sum of admittance connected between bus 1 and 2 here bus 1 and 2 value is minus j5 but in, in formulas the negative values so the capital y12 is equal to minus of y12 will get j5 y13 means admittance connected between bus 1 and 3 there is no impedance connected between bus 1 and 3 so the y13 will be 0 y13 is equal to y31 next y22 y22 means sum of admittance connected at bus 2 here at bus 2 the impedance y12 and y 23s are connected if you add this values you will get j 7.5 so this answer will be option b no analysis method some types of problem we cannot use the data inspection method for that case we, we have to use the node analysis method the concept is first step we have to replace the generator by the current source it's equivalent to current source but the generator is equivalent to voltage source we have to convert this voltage source into a current source for analysis so replace the generator by current value in parallel with impedance the second step is each bus will be considered as node third one is if there is more than two branches other than bus it also be considered as a node fourth point apply node analysis just refer the node analysis concepts circuit theory assume current flow from the node apply curves current law to each node from the equation this equation should have the only current injected to the bus and bus voltage as a variable okay if other than it variable we have to simplify it finally form the y bus matrix like this this is a concepts if we discuss a problem this concept will be easily understandable one so we will discuss a problem this question is asked in gate 21 examination here uh, the transmission line impedance is given but the mutual impedance between the two transmission line is not given zero so we may use that inspection method and wipe and node analysis method so no need to go for single transformation method if you use the direct inspection method how will you find what is y11 y11 is sum of admittance connected at bus 1 what is y11 sum of admittance connected at bus 1 here in this bus all are connected so we cannot use the direct inspection method here so use the node analysis method here impedance is given so we have to convert this impedance into admittance so z1 is equal to j what will be the y1 value y1 is equal to 1 by z1 so the value will be minus j then z2 z3 z4 all are the values are same j so what will be the y1 value y2 y3 y4 is equal to minus j you may take as small y also okay for the node analysis concept what is the first step we have to convert this generator as equivalent current source here the generator is considered as the ideal voltage source if we convert the ideal voltage source in the current source for analysis it will be a current source with zero impedance in parallel it will be uh, equal to a current source with zero impedance in parallel okay because ideal voltage source if if it is generated as a considered as a voltage source with an impedance we have to convert this voltage source into current source but the impedance will be in parallel we, we know this conversion of thevenin circuits into normal circuits that concepts okay first step is over what is the second step e, each bus will be considered as node so it's a v1 voltage v2 v3 here here more than two branches connected it also be considered as a node if only have the bus as a node 
we can use the data inspection method but here another one node is there so we cannot use the data inspection method then use the node analysis concepts assume current flow from the node apply the current lot node v1 here this current and this current are outgoing current there is no incoming current this current is opposite to i1 so this current value is negative of i1 so minus i1 plus this current value will be v1 minus v by z1 is equal to 0 simple this equation we know that 1 by z1 is equal to y1 you may write this equation like this so we know that value y1 value y1 value is equal to minus j because z1 value is j the inverse of z1 is equal to y1 the y1 value will be minus j substitute here the value will be i1 is equal to minus so y1 is equal to minus j so we will get this equation but this equation have the node voltage v other than the bus node the equation should have the current injected to the bus and bus node as a variable okay so we have to simplify this equation apply kc let node b here outgoing current v minus v1 into y1 plus v minus 0 by y4 plus v minus v3 by z3 or by z3 1 by z3 is equal to y3 plus v minus v2 into y2 is equal to 0 y1 y2 y3 y4 all are these values are minus j substitute here we will get this answer as v is equal to 0 0.25 j v1 plus 0 0.25 j v2 plus 0 0.25 j v3 substitute this equation 2 in 1 we will get i1 is equal to minus 0 0.75 j v1 plus 0 0.25 j v2 plus 0 0.25 j v3 now this equation only have the variable as current injected and bus node next apply Krishop's current lot node v2 outgoing currents so minus i2 minus i2 plus v2 minus v into y2 is equal to 0 so simply with this equation i2 is equal to v2 y2 minus v y2 y2 value will be minus j so substitute here we will get i2 is equal to minus j v2 plus j like this equation 1 now substitute this equation the equation will become like this next apply Krishop's current lot node v3 so here incoming current is equal to i3 outgoing currents are v3 minus v into y3 so we will get this equation simply with this equation we will get like this so substitute y3 values as minus j we will get this equation now substitute the equation 2 in 6 we will get i3 is equal to 0 0.25 j v1 plus 0 0.25 j v2 minus 0 0.75 j v3 from this equation 3 and 5 and 7 we may write this equation as a matrix i1 is equal to minus 0 0.75 v1 plus 0 0.25 v2 plus 0 0.25 v3 okay like this here i1 i2 i3 are this current injector v1 v2 v3 are our bus node it have only the current injected as injected to bus and bus node as a variable okay this is the y bus so option b is correct now do it yourself two questions are given we may use both the method that inspection and node analysis for this problem use both the method check answers both are same or not the second question is as in gate 2005 examination my answer key is so for first one is this value the second one is option d check your answer whether your answer is correct or not by using both the method when you are going to write the examination you should know both the methods okay both are easiest one in the next video we will discuss the remaining topics if you have any doubts in the discussion just post your doubts in our whatsapp group you may get immediate clarifications if you need other materials for the comedy examinations use our nc answer website and android app Continuously watch our channel. Definitely you can get good marks in the government examinations. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Like, comment and share.